Hey there, this is Heather with TwoBlooms.com and in this Lightroom tutorial I'm going to show you how you can layer presets together. Layering presets really depends on the preset itself. So it really depends on how the preset is made and how I, I'm going to show you how you can dissect it and learn what is being changed to the preset to see if you can apply a new preset on top of it. So the best way is to just show you and let's get started. Okay, I'm going to be working with this image and I'm going to just show you a couple of my different preset collections that can layer. So I'm going to start with my classic film collection and I have all of, you know, these few different um, film presets. So I can go ahead and click on a film preset and you can see how that changed just by clicking the preset. I had already adjusted exposure and sharpening a little bit, but I know since I created these presets that the only thing that changes to this image when I click the preset is the tone curve. You can see how the tone curve has been changed. So I'm going to do a control Z to undo that so you can see how that uh, changed back. So let me just press that again. So if I want to layer a preset on top of this preset, I can choose any preset that I have as long as it doesn't make any changes to the tone curve. Because if you try to um, layer with a preset that changes the tone curve just like all of these presets, it's going to change the tone curve completely and you're not going to have that layering effect. So if I were to come over here and choose Elegant Film, you're going to see the difference in the tone curve. So I can't layer these in particular. If I just keep clicking on them, it's going to go back and forth. It's just changing the tone curve. So I can't layer these. So that's one drawback of using Lightroom. But then I have, you know, my classic film effects where I can layer these because these make different changes in the develop module. So I can use a contrast filter. Well, that just changes my contrast. So then I can also use like a light vignette. Now this looks really dramatic because of the lighting in this photo, but um, you can come down here and you can see that the only thing was changed was the vignette. And then I can also add grain. So these are layerable and this is how you layer presets in Lightroom. You just have to know how the presets are made. Okay, so I am going to show you, let's go back to my history. I'm going to show you a collection that I did create that you can layer. So it's called Retro Magic and you're able to layer, use any of these prep presets all in conjunction with each other. So you can click on all these presets and you're good to go. They're not going to um, conflict with each other. So I can do like a boost, it just adds a little bit of contrast, um, some sharpening, whatnot, and then I can come to my second layered and I can choose one of these. So it really just depends on what I choose. So if I were to come over here and choose buttercream, it's going to not layer because these are tone curve adjustments. So when I'm done with that, I can come over here and choose one of these, and then choose one of these. So that's how you can layer because they are set up in a way, they are made in a way that you can layer. So what you're going to have to do is go through your presets and see how the changes are made, and then see if you can layer them or not. Now I do have a couple of collections that you cannot layer. My Lux Matte collection was not meant for layering, neither was Hypnotic. Um, a lot of changes to the basic panel, the tone curve, and split toning were made, were changed in these preset collections. So that's how you can layer, um, if possible, your presets in Lightroom. Just go ahead and look at what changes have been made and see what you can do. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Um, if you're interested at all in any of these collections that I showed you, I will leave a link in the comments below. Thumbs up if you found this really useful and make sure you subscribe to our channel. 
to receive Lightroom tutorials on a weekly basis. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.